Yo, what's good guys? So another one today. Now, this isn't your typical abandoned, you know, locations as in abandoned buildings and all that. These are the ruins, these are the historical side of things. So, what I want to show you is it's just here. Now, it's nothing too special. It is literally just ruins of the foundation of Alton Abbey. So, what I am going to do is, I'm going to leave you some history just here so you can see what the place is or should I say what the place actually was the abbey dedicated to Saint Mary belonged to the Cistercian order the white monks it was founded in 1223 by Henry de Audley in what was then a remote part of the county in keeping with the traditional kind of site which the Cistercians chose for their religious houses the Audleys continued to be benefactors of the Abbey during the Middle Ages, although it was always poor with only ever a small number of monks. Documentary sources also indicate that the ecclesiastical community at Holton Abbey was not large. In 1377 and 1381, it numbered only five, including the abbot, and in 1538, when the Abbey was dissolved, there were eight monks and an abbot. Sir James de Audley, who was notable for how courageously he fought under the Black Prince at the Battle of Poitiers in 1356, was buried in the choir of the Abbey Church in front of the high altar with his wife. There is a tradition that, when the Abbey Church was demolished and the tombs opened, the lady's hair had continued to grow luxuriantly. Holton Abbey was surrendered to the crown on 18th and September 1538, by which time it was worth only 200 pounds per year and had only nine monks, including the abbot. It was always one of the poorest of Staffordshire's monasteries. The abbey site and its lands were sold to Sir Edward Aston of Tixall, near Stafford, in 1543. He later sold to the Snades of Keel in the early 17th century. Excavations of the abbey site took place in 1884 and again in the early 1930s. There is stories of secret underground passages and hidden subterranean bunkers at Holton Abbey. One legend persisted. It was claimed that underneath the abbey there existed a complex of tunnels. The old abbey, now ruined, belonged to the Cistercian order of monks. It was claimed that underneath the abbey there existed a web of tunnels that stretched off in all directions, including a passage that connected Hulton Abbey with Stoke Parish Church some four miles away. A journey, if true, that would take it under the bed of the River Trent. Also, some locals say that the ruins are haunted, and some people claim to see paranormal sightings across the ruins. So yeah, folks, there's your history of the place. Now, as I say, this video is not going to be your typical abandoned stuff to see a lot of things. This is more the historical side of things. Now, a lot of people do say like, well, not a lot. There's a couple of people who are like, oh, it's just obviously bricks in the floor, you know, and so on. But the thing is, it's like you're standing on history. This is 13th century ruins that we're standing in between now. Now, I want to look around quickly just to see if there is any carvings or anything but it doesn't look like there is now some people do love this historical stuff they love it when I put the history in the videos and people can see what the place used to be now what I am going to do is is I'm going to leave a link in the description for you folks so if you want to go check out another website to see what the place used to be like then go and do that I don't want to leave it in the video because it's not my photo I don't take it you know and so on of what it used to be so I'm not going to take credit for it or nothing so yeah if you go across and check out the link in the description you will see but now I think what we're going to do is because there's not a lot to see I can't see really any carvings or anything around I think I'm going to get the drone up and I'm going to show you what it's like from the sky so as you can see from drone assist that's coming up on the screen now we are not in a flight restriction zone we can take off so off we go take off home point updated right so i'm going to bring it back now i'm going to try and talk and see what we can see from over here so if i bring this back and then look down these are the ruins from above you see me just walking off screen there i am in line of sight with my drone 
but yeah just look at these ruins from above now what we will do is we'll go a little higher and bring it back a bit so you can see the foundations of the place of what it used to be like now i think where i'm standing which is bottom of the screen now i think this would be where the entrance would have been which would have led down to if i just swing it around which probably would have led down to the main road where the gates probably would have been back in the day i don't know but yeah this is the ruins from above now what we'll do is we'll fly over but what we'll do is as well we'll bring this down so you can see now i was trying to just do it the easy way then with the drone but for some reason it wouldn't flick down so i have to do it manually so yeah this is from above the ruins and as i say this is alton abbey it's nothing too special but it's something just to show a bit of history as i say 13th century history man it's mad so i do like me historical stuff and everything um but yeah this is from above and as you can see i am in line of sight with my drone which you will see any second now there's me <laughs> so i am watching the drone and i am keeping an eye on it but right i think that's all i'm going to show you from above because there's not really anything else i can show you but just the actual shot from the foundations the ruins so i'm back down now folks now if there is one thing that really annoys me it's this stuff every time we come to any location abandoned historical anything man it's like litter like people leaving litter i mean here as well look a baggie and then we've got a can of coke another bit of litter up there and then it's same over here folks look you've got rubbish glass bottles i don't see why people just can't take it with them i mean every time i'm on explore folks i take all my stuff with me it goes in my bag and then it goes in the bin and anyone can vouch for who explores with me but we're not here to complain about the rubbish we're here to talk about the ruins and as i say we're back down and yeah there's not really a lot else i can show you it's literally just 13th century ruins you've heard the history and that's going to be it now i know some people do love the historical stuff and some people do love the abandoned stuff but as you know over here it's the historical landmarks the abandoned locations the paranormal investigations which we are going back to do and also the random findings man that's what we do on this channel there's no other channel does it like this it's literally just straight abandoned with most other channels so as i say folks hope you've enjoyed that don't forget to check out all the social media group on the screen and i'll see you in the next one